<laughs> Hi, my name is Valerie Loudenbach, and I'm really happy to share my story with you at uh, Reach's Virtual Brouhaha. So take a swig, fill it up, and uh, enjoy this tale. So timing is perfect, the theme is home, and mine fits right into what we are usually doing this time of year, and that is sending our kids off to camps. So when I was about seven, I mean, that was little. Um, we, we were into Girl Scouts, loved Girl Scouts, and we were sent, my sister and I, she's older, to a residential summer camp. Um, and I can remember certain things vividly in my mind. I remember this overwhelming anxiousness of being homesick. I couldn't even function. All I could do was boo hoo hoo. So I was like that crybaby kid at camp that, you know, people are like, oh brother. But I couldn't help myself. I just really wanted to be home and being apart from my home was really distressing. But I can remember clearly uh, the lodge, going into the lodge, what it looked like and having my mother on the phone and this is how it felt. Now she might have a different answer. I felt like I was begging her to come and pick me up. I wanted to go home so badly. And it wasn't like she hopped in the car right away. She kind of gave me what I've given my kids when they've called with problems. Well, just work on it, you know, man up, you can do it. Uh, but eventually I wore her down and people are probably at the camp were like, come and get this girl. And they came and they, they took, to me, took me home. And uh, that wasn't the first time then that it happened. It, it continued. And I don't remember, you know, I was like a homebody. I went places. Uh, but it was hard for me to leave my home to go stay at other places. Um, and I remember then when I was a little bit older, we went to resident camp. My friend Mary Louise Lennon and I went to Camp Walla Honding. This is in Ohio. And you know, she's all about it, Miss Independent. And I'm enjoying myself too, but I'm having the homesickness issues. And she was super sweet and, you know, listened for a while, but you know, then you know, you're gonna be crying when we're at the pool. I, I wanna be doing my thing. And I tried really hard and they didn't have to come and get me, but I still had that that feeling in my stomach that I really wanted to be home and I never really did figure out where it came from you know I like to do things get along with other people but my parents were very sweet and supportive uh, they wrote me letters and you know it meant a lot to get a written letter at camp and we know we talk about the written letter going you know by the wayside but uh, that was really powerful letters we would get and my parents because they knew I was homesick they'd cut out my favorite cartoon it's called Brenda Starr she was this reporter with red hair and uh, you know you'd read the three little sections every day in the paper and they sent those to me and that was super sweet so I didn't have to be retrieved from the camp I made it through but it was still difficult and I was working through some of that when I had sleepovers too um, and when I was talking to my mother, she reminded me too that sh that even getting me to go to dance class was a challenge. She had to drag me in there uh, to go to dance class because I didn't want to leave home. Um, and so when I look back on that and she said to me, that is just totally not the way you are now. You're the one involved in all these other programs and doing these things. and. I just chalk it up to uh, a growing experience and my parents handling it the right way and me ad adjusting. Um, but I really, when I think about it, really was merely impressed with how strong that feeling was in me. It was an overwhelming feeling of wanting to be home, to be somewhere safe. And I gonna give credit to my parents because obviously they created a home that I appreciated. And I don't know if I've actually ever told them that, but they're gonna hear it when they watch this, this video. And I'll make sure I tell them in person. So that's my story about home and summer. And I hope you enjoyed it. And thank you so much for supporting Reach.